And another one, teen accused of assaulting Uber driver and taking off in her SUV in Miami Beach. I mean, can the companies maybe supply all the drivers with a dash cam and with big stickers on the outside windows? You are being recorded. Maybe this will stop the carjackers. Who knows? This thug. Check it out. Good noon an arrest after a carjacking outside my, Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami Beach. And that victim was an Uber driver. Local 10 News reporter Ian Marble is live to yeah, tell right. about the suspect as well as that fatal motorcycle crash he could have been involved in. Ian? Yeah, it appears after the carjacking, he took off and may have hit a female motorcyclist at 195 near I-95 yesterday. If they can prove he was the man behind the wheel, he's Muda. already facing a serious charge. He could face even more. Muda. The gray Toyota Highlander with a shredded tire is at the center of a carjacking and possible fatal hit and run. And the man who was supposedly behind the wheel is 19-year-old Edward Milo. According to Miami Beach Police, on Monday, Milo was at Mount Sinai Hospital and called a friend asking him to come pick him up. That friend, who was in an Uber at the time, added the hospital to his route, and he and the driver, a 44-year-old woman, made their way to Mount Sinai. But allegedly, when Milo got into the car, he started punching the driver in the face the and then shoved the her face. out of the moving vehicle. Punching the lady his friend, in the face. In fear for his That's life, also dove out of the car as Milo drove off. Sometime later, Florida Highway Patrol found a motorcyclist who was hit by a car on I-195 near I-95 that just kept on driving. That motorcyclist later died from her injuries, and now FHP is trying to figure out if she was hit by Milo. Eventually, the Highlander was found Timing abandoned, and, area and makes just sense. after midnight Tuesday morning, Milo was arrested by Miami police. So as you can imagine, there are several agencies involved in this. Obviously, Miami Beach Police for the carjacking side of it, and that is what he is charged with right now. Florida Highway Patrol also looking into this one. And again, if they can prove he was behind the wheel of the car that hit and killed that motorcyclist, Muda. his charges could be driving away from an accident causing a fatality. There is a lot more to this. He's expected in bond court this afternoon. We will keep you posted every step of the way on this one. On this one. For now, we're live on my... Sorry about that little end glitch there. Um, listen, here's what I have to say. Dash cam, dash cam, dash cam. Get the best one, right? The vest. Van True, my friends. Van True N4. 360 degree recordings. I'll leave the link below. You get 25% off. Had that lady had the dash cam and maybe the stickers, I've put the link out there. I'll make, gladly make another video for you. Buy yourself Amazon stickers that they are being recorded. Put a couple on the outside. Maybe this thug, this teenager who maybe even killed someone in the process, right, would have said, nah, not going to touch that car. Has a dash cam. I, I don't want to be recorded. I don't want to be all over the news. Or you go out and get a company like Display Ride where they upload non-stop the footage into a cloud so guys and girls it's a matter of, it's a matter of life and death please i beg you either go and get a good dash cam or get yourself one of these cloud services where you're constantly being recorded and all of the footage is going up into a cloud and can be drawn at a later date if need be and imagine there was another Uber or Lyft area in the area circulating, right? Imagine he or she would have had a dash cam and saw this guy come flying by and hit that person, right? They would have had the evidence on the camera that that car over there just killed that individual. So the, these things are magic, man, magic. And the link is below uh, where you get 25% off. Our hearts go out to this lady. Hopefully they can send us a GoFundMe um, page and then we can raise money for that individual that was killed by this thug. And I'm sorry to the driver, the lady who got beaten up by this thug. Let's put this kid in prison, ladies and gentlemen. 
Let's stop this nonsense. The companies need to finally spend money on safety, right? Supply all your drivers with dash cams, supply them with stickers, do everything in your power to keep your drivers and riders safe. Have a great day. Please comment.